What's up guys, it's Evan Taxaurus. Welcome back to Setup Wars episode 147, where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you guys wanna participate, you know what to do. Make sure to watch the video linked down below. With that said, let the Setup Wars begin. Hey guys, so before I begin the episode, I'm gonna give a quick update on Setup Makeover Season 2. It's taking a while to start because we're still on the final stages of selecting a winner. We are going through a lot of applications and we're finally narrowed it down to five final contestants and we're still doing interviews with them. So by the middle of July, we would have uh, concluded and picked a finalist. So thank you guys so much for your patience. Hopefully we can launch episode one sometime in August. That is the plan. But yeah, things are still moving. I did not forget about the about the series. Thank you guys again for your patience. And yeah, let's get back to the show. Kicking off the episode is Jude and his compact gaming setup featuring the ASUS ROG Swift gaming monitor and some Corsair gear. He's got the K95 RGB Platinum keyboard, the M65 Pro mouse with the Polaris RGB mouse pad, and even the headset and headset stand are from Corsair. I feel like if Corsair made speakers, it would even be in this setup as well. But instead, he's using the Bose Companion 2 speakers. I like where he drilled a hole for the mouse and mouse pad wire. It looks more cleaner this way instead of routing it underneath the keyboard. Nicely done. In fact, all the cable management looks clean in this setup. It looks like he used a channel raceway to route most of the wires in the back, along with the help of some zip ties and cable clips to keep things nice and tidy. Excellent work. There's really nothing over the top or extra in this setup. It has all the essentials any gaming setup needs. We got the mechanical keyboard, a gaming monitor, speakers, headset, and of course a beast gaming PC rocking the 8700K and an ASUS Strix 1080. The coolest thing inside the PC is the 50 cal bullet that's made out of pure silver. The reason is because it has an awesome story behind it. It was actually given to him by his dad after surviving a massive brain tumor that almost killed him. It has the words Invictus engraved on the side, meaning unconquered. You know, it's easy to forget about all the terrible stuff that's happening outside in the world. We are tucked away nice and cozy in our rooms watching videos and playing games and you know, there are people out there who are battling against sickness and death or just live in very poor conditions. If anyone watching this video is struggling with those problems, I just wanna say, hang in there, don't give up on life. And I really hope that my videos give you at least a little bit of joy to help you with these tough times. Julian is up next all the way from Germany and his editing setup, which appears to be inside of Harry Potter's closet. Or I mean, it could just be an attic or something. It's interesting that this is mostly an editing setup instead of gaming, seeing as he's only using a 6700K, which is a quad core. I'm not really sure what programs he's using to edit, but I know most programs are heavily dependent on CPU. So I expected at least six cores, if not an eight core inside this PC. He's got a good amount of RAM, but the CPU choice is interesting. The desk choice is also interesting. So he managed to cram three monitors on that tiny thing using a mount, which is genius by the way. Who says you need a large desk to fit multiple monitors? This is definitely one of the solutions if you don't have enough space on your desk. There aren't that many things on the desk, however. He's got the Sharkoon keyboard, MX Master mouse, and his Logitech Z906 speakers. Now, since the desk isn't up against the wall, Julian had to bundle up the wires together and run them through the side of the desk and behind the PC using some cable sleeves. I'm actually pretty impressed that he was able to achieve this type of setup given the overall table size. Well done and thank you for entering. Here's another triple monitor setup. This one is by Justin from Singapore and its purpose is gaming, editing, and audio production. He's rocking three 24 inch monitors that are hooked up to a desk mount and below that we got the Corsair K70 and Logitech G602 mouse. For audio, he's using the Creative Sound Blaster X Katana and a pair of Sennheiser Game 1 headphones. I like what he did with the headphone wire. He used a few cable clips to keep it from hanging down and he routed it underneath the desk. Very nice. One thing I would change, however, is the cable clips that you're using for your charging cables. It looks a bit difficult to remove when you need to use them for charging, so instead I would use these magnetic cable clips instead. It will allow you to remove and attach the cables a lot easier than your current setup. But the rest of the cable management in your setup is done well. I mean, lots of cable sleeves are used to hide the wires coming from your PC and the monitors. We also got a power strip that's hooked up underneath the desk. 
It's a shame that the PC had to be on the ground though. It's a great looking rig, rocking the 6700K and a 1080 from Zotac with custom sleeved cables. Honestly, if it were up to me, I would install a wall shelf on the right side of your setup and put the PC on top of it. Cable management would also be a lot easier since you can just run the wires inside the cable sleeve straight down against the corner behind your PC, but that would require a little extra work. Speaking of cable management, I would mount that Seagate external drive underneath the desk as well and bring it closer to you like I did in my setup. Not only will you clean up the surface of your desk, but it will also be closer to you in case you need to use the two USB ports on there as pass-through. Just make sure to use these heavy-duty Velcro straps instead of regular 3M tape. One thing I do like about the setup is the neutral color scheme, which means that he can change up the colors depending on his mood, so it's not always the same. It's a nice multi-purpose setup, thank you Justin for entering. If you're wondering what a 17-year-old cryptocurrency investor and student is using as their setup, well, here you go. The purpose of the setup is gaming, investments, and school. He's using an ultra-wide monitor with 120Hz refresh rate and G-Sync for gaming, while the other vertical monitor is used for productivity, most likely to look at stock-related info. I love the unique black, purple, and blue color scheme of this setup. He did a great job keeping it consistent with the RGB lighting from the keyboard and mouse. Also, look at that speaker placement. He spaced out the monitors just enough to make sure that they are not blocked off. Nicely done. Aside from the speakers, he's also using the SteelSeries Siberia 800 headset. The cable management is really clean. The wires are tied together nicely and kept off the ground using the net underneath the desk. The PC powering it all has a 7600K and an MSI GTX 1080 inside the 460X case from Corsair. This is a really clean setup and I don't have any complaints at all. The only thing I would recommend is maybe putting some more stuff on that wall shelf because it seems overkill just holding up that letter K. I know it's the first letter of your name, but maybe add some extra stuff on the sides to contribute to your personality. It could be anything, maybe stuff from your favorite hobby, movie, or game. I feel like it's just missing some spice, that's all. Other than that, I love this setup. Thank you, Kyle, for entering. Last but not least, we have Neil from the Netherlands with an interesting type of setup. So he uses this for gaming, but mostly for productivity. The mahogany desk was purchased used, but he sanded it down and oiled it so it looks new, and he even picked up matching speaker stands for his Yamaha HS8 studio monitors. Personally, I'm not a fan of wood desks because it always looks out of place when compared to every other tech that's on it, but it seems to be blending in well with Neil's setup for some reason. It could be due to the speaker stands or the neutral white and black colors, I'm not really sure. For monitors, he's using the 27-inch Acer for gaming, while the HP Pavilion is used mainly as a second display. Also on the desk, we got the White Eagle Z77 keyboard with the Logitech G502 mouse, and both wires are going across the desk alongside the Cloud2 gaming headset wire, which is a big no-no. I mean, the wire is long enough to be routed underneath the desk. I'm not really sure why he would take this approach instead. Just pick up some cable clips and route the cable underneath the desk for a cleaner look, my dude. The rest of the wire management looks great. The Signum is holding up the cables. I have no complaints other than that headset wire. The PC powering the setup looks very clean with a black and red theme, custom sleeved cables, and a 3D printed Destiny Ghost to keep guard of his PC. I admire the originality of this setup. Not only did he make the painting on the wall, but he also made that wallpaper on his actual monitor. It's a very nice setup overall, it just needs some minor tweaks. Thank you, Neil, for entering. So that is it for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, make sure you guys drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. If you guys enjoyed the series, make sure to toss a like to show your support. And if you don't like the series, please leave a dislike. I encourage you guys. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.